been stuck into then? Hashu. <laughs> I think he's going to be our priority. Lola and Adam are on their way to Birmingham. Check this pair. Well, they'll be taking on a 29-year-old man. We don't need to talk about that one. We'll just put that in the corner. Who can't land a wife because his room is a shameful rubbish tip. Hashu, do yourself justice. And me and Luke are heading to Croydon. Oh, oh. <laughs> We've been called to the rescue by Daniel. The 62-year-old mum, Caroline, has got MS. Daniel reckons her house has become a danger zone and he's been trying to sort it for years. But she's not having any of it. I think we have got a big job on our hands. A huge job. So, I'm Daniel. And um, my name's Caroline. For me, it's kind of been a 10-year-long battle. I'm kind of desperate for a solution. Like, I'd say this is almost like a sort of last-ditch attempt to sort of wrestle back the house into a state of order. I've tried many times to convince my mum to throw things out, and it rubs her up the wrong way. That's why I don't let you in. Because you're going to... <laughs> always likes a, a lot of stuff. But it's very important for her to change the way the house is. It's better for her health and can also help her mental well-being. For the queens to come in and transform mum's house, it would be everything. <laughs> I'm Luke, nice Daniel. to meet you. Hi, I'm Chanel. Daniel. Before we meet Caroline, we're going to sneak a peek at the place. Jesus. <coughs> they smoke, right? First impressions, the smell. It's very groggy. It's... The air, it feels um, it's smoky. In my chest. In the carpet. I don't know where to start. That corner over there is dead. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this place is dusty, musty. This place ain't been cleaned in years. This is smoke. It's yellow. These walls were actually white. Yeah. There's so many hazards in this room. Yeah. Was oh. this sofa no. red? <laughs> Someone's been living in this seat, haven't they? It feels so uncomfortable knowing that my mum was living in a house like this by herself. Same. This living room just is not safe. I hope the bedroom ain't this bad. <gasps> oh, my God, where does she sleep? That's the first thing I was going to say. Oh, my God. Um, she sleeps on the sofa. Oh, my God, no way. She sleeps on the sofa. Oh, my God, the dust. Oh, and look at this. You know, looking into a dirty mirror, it's like looking into a broken mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, you know, looking at these spider webs, it's depressing, isn't it? Definitely. If I had to live in this every day, I can imagine that has a mental effect on her. Oh, poor Daniel. I could definitely understand why he needed to call out for our help. This place is in a state. I want to speak to the top lady herself and see how it's got to this. So this is my mum. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So if, if you don't know already, I am an expert in organising and Luke is an expert in cleaning. What's the hardest thing you would say with trying to manage the house? Oh, um, cleaning the carpet, because I actually suffer from MS. Yeah. And it's been hard for me to do anything for the last three, four years. It's, it's hard work, definitely. And, and how do you feel, Daniel? Do you help your mum out at all? So I used to help, but now it's sort of gotten to the point where I come over and there's a lot of, like, arguments and it's a bit of a battle to kind of clean things or throw things out. Someone doesn't like me <laughs> <laughs> meddling. <laughs> I tried before. I waited for mum to go on holiday with the rest of our family and I gutted the place. I threw out so much stuff. I felt so good. The house was so clear. Mum was very upset. What he's not saying is there was 42 bags on my driveway. And when I came back from holiday, there was a notice telling me about fly tipping. Listen, I get it. His mum's a hoarder and he needed to get rid of some stuff. But in secret, 
42 bags. Listen, if somebody threw away 42 bags of mine, they'd be in number 43. Can yeah. I ask a little bit more about your day-to-day -day routine? Well, I, I roll off the bed. Just let me ask. <laughs> um, the bedroom at the f like the far back. Yes. Yeah. Down. Sorry, no, I can't. Like, it's not even. You don't even make it to the bed. Like most nights, you just fall asleep. Here. Sometimes I watch the t I'm watching the television. I next thing you know, I fall in asleep. But mum, like, it's not even. Sometimes it's every night. Like, oh, this okay. is where you sleep. Sometimes going down I that do. route. Mum, again, like, stop. Like, now's the time to be honest. <laughs> Can I ask as well, Caroline? Do you smoke? Occasionally, yes. One of the things we did notice is tar stains on the walls. The reason why I want to change things is because I don't think this house is the safest environment for you, considering your, like, condition. But um, I like it here, I love it here. It never fallen or tripped over things in the house yourself? I've fallen, yeah. I mean, I took, it took me 20 minutes once just to get off the floor. Oh, that was horrible, that was horrible. I didn't know this was happening. No, I don't, I don't tell him. Yeah, and Why that's, um... That? The stubbornness he'd be. This really was an SOS call from Daniel. Caroline is a really strong and independent black woman, so this is gonna be a challenge. Coming up! Can we get started with your books? <sighs> Me and Luke have our work cut out. Keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. And Adam and Lola. Hey. Hello! Hi. Meet a man child in need of help to land a wife. Oh, oh, oh! It is pretty bad. That corner over there is dead. Oh, what's this? In Croydon, me and Chanel have been called in by a desperate Daniel to improve his mum's dirty and cluttered home. I don't think this house is the safest environment for you. <sighs> but um, I like it here, I love it here. This is going to be a challenge. And in Birmingham, me and Adam are coming to the rescue of 29-year-old Hashir, whose dirty room is seriously messing up his love life. I hope he's ready to get involved, because we're not doing it all. Hi, I'm Hashu. I'm 29. I'm from Birmingham. Welcome to my humble abode. And uh, my parents are trying to get me married right now. <laughs> but I can't imagine any girl wanting to live in this room. It's just gotten out of hand. I've got clothes everywhere. I don't know what's clean. I do the sniff test. Everything smells like shit. We don't need to talk about that one. We'll just put that in the corner. I'm a man-child, I'm not proud to admit it, but I need to get this sorted out. Hey. Hello! Hi. My name's Adam. Nice <laughs> to meet you, Adam. Hi, I'm Lola. Show us the damage. It's not pretty, I'm warning you. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. <clears throat> It's just everything's covered in dust and filth and look just dirty. Same as these skirting boards. Literally, come on. The surface have been They've never been in done. a long time. He's a young lad, like, this is quite embarrassing. I can't believe this man boy is 29 years old. It doesn't look like he knows how to clean or tidy. Oh, look at the bed. You can't have a girl back here. It's hardly a shag pad. Yeah, you won't bring anyone back here, will you? So is that meant to be his wardrobe? That's just disrespectful. I think that's a good guess, mate. There's just... How long has it been in the trash? The organisation of Hashu's bedroom is really confusing. His clothes are in bin bags, but he's not chucking them. That's where he keeps them. It's so mad having those guys in my room just going through all my shit. Shake it. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of feel like I wish I tidied up more before they came. I'm kind of waking up to the reality that it is pretty bad. Hashi? Yo. So, mate. So, what's happening, lad? You know what it is, like, as a creative, right? I, I, I have a very particular vision for my room and that. Yeah. Okay. Is this the vision Coffee. you saw? No. No? Okay. 
it's gotten to a point now where I don't even know what's where and I can't even create content sometimes because yeah. I can't find props, I can't find where my equipment is and it's just, it's just a mess. What and kind of content do you create? I create comedy content online. Okay. So, it turns out that Hashu has an alter ego called Smash Bengali and he has over 38,000 followers. Hey, it's not Apple. Apple. What do you think you're looking at? Go on, you dry. Um, table for one, please. He might be a comedian, but he needs to start taking himself seriously. So, are you dating anybody? Uh, well, basically, like, my parents want me to get married. OK. You know what I'm saying? But can't really bring anyone... Back to yeah. this. Yeah. 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 Hashi's right about one thing. No girl's gonna want to stop here, let me tell you. It screams self-neglect. That's not the signals he wants to be giving off. So we've seen where the magic certainly does not happen. I want to see if his workspace is any better. Oh, OK. He obviously takes a lot more pride in this room. Oh, that's a bit rich. Don't overthink, Turks, and just do it. Is he having a joke? <laughs> well, this is the life he wants to live. This is the guy he wants to be. Yeah, but this is not what he's living. No, he's not. It's quite obvious that he prioritises his social media content over sorting out his own life, and that's probably why his life's in a bit of a mess. You know all your motivational quotes? Yeah. Do you think you're a hypocrite? In terms of channeling that stuff into my work, that's 100% real. Yeah. Like, when I've had nights where I've got, like, red eyes editing and I'm looking at that stuff and I'm like, I just got to keep going. But all of that stuff, I don't apply it to this side of my reality. How do you see yourself? How do you see, want to see yourself in a year's time? I want to see myself married with a nice wifey that I can bring yeah. back to this room. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? We can spend some quality time here. But it's almost like my creativity is taking over my, my life. Hashu has dreams and aspirations, but what's heartbreaking is he's struggling to see the light through the bin bags. Our job is to help him clear a path through it. There'll be not a bag in sight. <laughs> All right, this is gone. Here in Croydon, Daniel's mum, Caroline, has 20 years worth of cleaning piled up. Oh, boy, there's some dirt to deal with. But before we can clean, we need to clear. And we're kicking off in the living room. Can we get started with your books? Oh, yeah, keep that. Keep, please. Oh, no, I've got to keep that. That's just, that's my Christmas present. No, I'm going to keep that for my nephew. Yeah, keep that, please. I've got to keep that. That's, that's really funny, yeah. Keep, please. Caroline, please be so thorough with what no, you're going to read. I am, actually, I am. Like, you're not going to read all of these books, so I don't know why you're keeping them all. All these small decisions make the big, chaotic mess that has yeah, got us all... to this point. Yeah. For a hoarder like Caroline, these things are not junk. These are precious, sentimental Ooh. items that mean the world to her. So I've got to tread carefully and make sure I don't hurt her feelings, but these things have got to go. The cases I, I would like to keep. Before we can get her to part with her clutter, we can at least make a start cleaning the kitchen. This grout is nasty. Neglecting the grout means that years of dirt and grime can build up. And now the grout that used to be white is brown. Come on, girl, let's have a clean off. I'm definitely down for that. I found a hack online for a toothpaste and a toothbrush to get out any stains from grout. I'm going to be using my bleach. You're doing too much. This is going to work. Baby, watch me now. Watch me now. <laughs> <laughs> The fluoride in the toothpaste is good for making your grout white. Any toothpaste and a good toothbrush so you can get right up in the cracks. Amazing workout, too. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> you ain't gonna beat me. Look at the difference between this and this. Yours is stained green, mine is bright white. <laughs> Do you see this right now? Toothpaste one, baby! Whether it's towels or teeth, toothpaste can bring back that sparkle. Finish it off with a quick rinse with warm water and polish with a lint-free cloth. Another easy job is a fridge refresh. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> oh. Well, it should be easy. Mm. Oh, my God, it reeks. 
<laughs> There's definitely something sinister in that fridge. OK, I'm getting all this out the fridge. It needs to have a thorough clean. January 2018. Daniel. <laughs> I have a swab here to do a test on the fridge and see if there's any fish residue, any proteins in the fridge, to basically see how bad the fridge has gotten. And then we're going to just leave it to sit for a little while and... Oh, God, we didn't even need any time. It's dark purple already. Wow. That was instant. Instantly. So that is a very big health hazard. Like, all jokes aside, it's really important that this fridge is clean on a regular basis. To get this fridge sparkling, Luke is using a trusted drop of washing up liquid and some elbow grease. Although, you can also try out white vinegar and degreaser to get your shining. Wow, you guys have done such a good job. Also, half of it's gone. Was, was that much food out of date? That much food. In Birmingham, 29-year-old man-boy Hashu has been neglecting himself and his room for too long. It's like you've just moved in. You want to be proud to bring back the wifey to this? Yeah. If we're going to make him husband material, everything's going to have to change. I like the guy, but let's be honest, his life and the way that he's living, it's a complete mess. It's all very chaotic in there, I feel. The floor job really is not working for me. Yeah, we're going to have to teach him how to use a washing machine, I can tell you that now. We're ultimately yeah. going to have to hold his hand through it and show him how it's done properly. I think he definitely needs a new bed as well. No girl is going to want to lie down on there with him. Yeah, that is not going to withstand any action as it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hachiu, the first step, we're going to clear out this whole room. It's all got to go. What, like everything? Everything. Nope. I can tell by his face, he's bricking it. Get out. Oh, that's my school shirt. How old are you again? Uh, 29. Right. But okay. it's memorabilia, do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. I'm honestly terrified of actually throwing away some of this stuff. This is all my props. Ah. I play like an auntie, you know what I'm saying? Show us your auntie then. Oh my God, he's such a beautiful man. Look at him. Oh, who's browner? Me or you? <laughs> oh. You naughty boy, I like you. Auntie needs a shave. But yeah. Hashu is a funny guy, and I think that he uses humour as a bit of a distraction method, but it's not going to wash with me. Hashu! I think you're in trouble. Oh, but, uh, yeah, OK. Do you have mouldy wallpaper next to your expensive clothes? Bro, I can't believe they found mouldy wallpaper in my room. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I forgot to take that out. Ugh, it's just embarrassing. He's literally got bags of festering rubbish in his bedroom, and he's just laughing it up, but I'm not finding it very funny. Travel iron. No. Yes! When's the last time you ironed anything? Ever? Hashu will not let go of anything, and I'm starting to run out of patience. That's a good sock. That's, that's a, good a good sock. That's a good, uh... Have you heard yourself? But well, it hasn't got a partner, so it's got to go. I don't mind wearing odd socks, innit? Big Why mark. spend valuable time I told matching you your socks marks. when they're going to both end up on I your feet? I said to Adam, he's going to be one of them lads that wears odd socks. But but there's nothing wrong. I, no, I, there's I, nice I, socks. They're no. good socks. Ah, <laughs> bruv. He needs to get real. If this is how worked up, he gets over a bunch of odd socks. We've got a journey ahead of us. Finally, the last bag, guys. Lola, oh my days, like, she's just trying to rip me a new asshole, bro. With the bedroom empty, it's time for him to man up and get stuck in. When is the last time you operated this bit of machinery, mate? I can't lie, me and Henry have a bit of a love-hate relationship, but I'm looking to rekindle that romance. Oh. Put a bit of back into it. Put my back into it. I'm not going to lie, watching you trying to get the corners with that head is painful. Do you know how to put this on? Uh, Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, isn't it? Why, isn't it? Do you know why? Because that doesn't come off. Put it on this section. OK. All right. Suck it all off, Hachu. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yes. I like that one. Does it not feel satisfying to see this clean up? Oh, yeah. When you see it macro, like, with your eyes on that, with the... You... Oh, my God, it's so nice. Man's got a bit of a sweat on and that, you know? That's Man's a got... real sweat. You just touch my sweat. Sorry, mate. Finally, we've got the guy to break some sweat. 
Yeah, but there's still a long way to go before that room is anything close to being the love nest it needs to be. Here in Croydon, I'm in Daniel's mum's bedroom. Wanna keep this? Yes, please. Where she has 20 years worth of clothes that need to be cleared out. That's if she'll let us. This jumper, it could potentially go. Potentially, but it's not going. It's my Christmas jumper. It still has a tag on it. Yeah. Because you've never worn it. It's not going. Caroline, you have limited space. But I've only got about... two Christmas jumpers, that one and the red one. You are not the only person that has a problem with holding on to things. Would you am a hoarder as well? No. I am. That is why I do what I do, though, because I had to learn how to let go of things. OK. I completely understand what Caroline is going through. It's really hard to let go of your stuff. You form an attachment to them, and letting them go can be really scary. Why do you feel like Daniel had to go behind your back to get rid of those 42 bags? Well, maybe he got rid of stuff he thought I didn't um, approve of. But at the time, I was very angry, very, very angry with him. I just felt so depressed because my life was, you know, in the drive. OK. <sighs> Daniel's heart was in the right place with this, but he's scarred his mum deeper than he knows. And it's made her even more resistant. If I'm going to get anything done around here, I'm going to have to talk to Daniel. Coming up, some hard home truths for Daniel. And I didn't want to upset him. And there's some tough love in store for Hashi. Get yourself together. In Croydon, there's something that needs to be cleared up before we can clean up. And I'm not just talking about the dirty hub. So, Daniel. Back to the infamous 42 bags. What I'm picking up on is that your mum is actually quite hurt by that. To you, the things in the house are a mess. Sure. Whereas to your mum, their yeah. heart, she's got an emotional attachment to a lot of these things, so they mean a lot more to her. And I kind of wondered if there's ever been a conversation between you and your mum about that where you've ever apologised. We've never really sat down and, like, really listened to each other. Yeah, that's an important thing that really needs to happen. 100%. Time for me and Luke to give them some space. Um, so, basically, I was talking to Sean L. Right. And um, I want to say I'm sorry about um, throwing all the bags out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, the first time I've heard it. Oh, that, that makes me feel a hell of a lot better. <laughs> it really does. Um, Thank you. I was devastated because a couple of things in there that my mum brought me. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do it out of malice or anything like that. Um, and I didn't want to upset you. I didn't know how you felt until Chanel kind of explained it to me. Mm. I've forgiven you, my dear. It's all done now. We hug it out. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, actually. I go away. Go <laughs> and make your really cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they got it all out in the open. My baby. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's the breakthrough we need to transform this place. Hashu has now cleared out his bedroom. But now we're left with a hall full of bags of clothes. He badly needs to learn some basic housework skills if he has any hope of landing a wife. I can feel a laundry load coming on. Right, so this is the stuff we're going to keep. Yep. What's clean, what's dirty. I saw Lola's face and I could tell that kind of scarred her for life a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Had you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Had you. You, 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 should, you should have let me <laughs> sniff it. Do you know what I mean, like? Oh, my God, the smell. These have all been together in bin liners, sweating amongst themselves. It's all going to have to be washed. We're going to have to yeah. start from scratch. Yep. Come on, let's go. 
right, let's get to it. <sighs> so most of the time, I'll just uh, leave my clothes there and I won't, like, actually wash them right. So, yeah, That's magic them. how they go from there into the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Hashu's family does all his washing for him, hence why he's a 29-year-old man-child. Essentially, his family are enabling him to live this lifestyle. Let me sort this out. Obviously, you need to put some powder in. OK, fabulous. All right. Mm -hmm. So as you've got mixed cottons in there, I'm going to say go for about a 40 wash. If what does that mean? 40 degrees Celsius, so it's not going to shrink your clothes. It's going to still get them really clean. I'm 29 years old. How do I not know this stuff? So as you can see, mate, it's not as hard as you probably made yourself look. For real, man. It's going to take a big load, literally, off your mum and sisters. Yeah? Bam. My first load. Bam. Not in that way. <laughs> <but> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> To find out that Hashu's family does all his washing for him was pretty shocking to me. So I'm bringing in his sister, Bina, to see what she thinks about it. He has never cleaned anything in his life. I do clean, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, Hashu, in terms of cleanliness, is zero out of ten. Because he's always been the baby of the family, everything's just kind of... We've just kind of done for him. It'd just be nice, I think, sometimes for me and for Mum, for you to be a bit more aware, you know, Mm -hmm. I just want to say, like, genuinely, I'm so sorry. Like, I feel really bad now. No, but you shouldn't, it's though. Do you know what I mean? Like, kind, yeah. Dana. Honestly, yeah. this is I all feel for... Really bad for having said no. what I have said. This is, but... this is a breakthrough. Yeah. No, but seriously, I'm, at the end of the day, like, you're my sister. Like, do you know what I mean? You're like a second mom to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to take care of you just as much. Yeah. Uh, but I think I need to see you that you're not my boy anymore. You're yeah. a man and you're going to be an amazing man. But if I see you being more productive, the happiest person will be me because I just know your potential. Hashu, do yourself justice. Get yourself together. We like that. Very yeah. well put. Wow, well done, Bina. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hearing my sister just directly say that, it really means a lot because I never want to see her like that and I know she never wants to see me upset in any way as well, which is probably why an issue like this has gone on for so long. Hashu had no idea that he was disrespecting his mum and his sister. I've got no doubt this was a massive wake-up call. Finally, it's starting to feel like Hashu's on the road to carrying his own load. Here in Croydon, Daniel and his mum have cleared the air. Now I'm going in to clear the clutter. Time to turn this bum site into a bum site. Every queen deserves a bougie boudoir. You can try that. That's good. Uh, that's my petticoat. Do you wear this? You can sign that away. OK. That has a label on it. This is going to charity. You need another bag, Sue. <laughs> Oh, chop that one. Daniel apologising to his mum has released a whole new Caroline. We turned the corner, baby. Skr -skr. Some of these clothes are completely brand new, perfect for a charity shop. But if you've got some threads that are looking a bit shabby, don't just bin them. There are plenty of clothes recycling places that you can donate to. Got rid of so much clothes, like that's a quarter of the wardrobe space. Caroline now has a wardrobe that she can hide away her clothes. But there's one thing she can't hide. Those walls. This is over 20 years of filth, tar and smoke. It's heavily stained nicotine, definitely. The walls as bad as these, my favourite thing to tackle this is sugar soap. Uh-huh. How often would you say that someone should wipe down their wall with sugar salt? If it was this bad, then it should be done at least monthly. Yeah. <laughs> you could do part white wine vinegar and part water. That's a good budget idea. And then just simply rinse off again with warm water. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Give me that sugar, honey. <laughs> We've wiped 20 years off these walls. Now our biggest challenge awaits. Caroline's carpet. If I'm honest, I don't know if this carpet's going to be saved, but I've raided the Queen's arsenal and I've brought out the big guns. 
So this is the carpet cleaner I'm using today. This is a soap solution. And then this one is what the dirty water will come into. And I think that one's going to be filthy. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> if you're cleaning your own carpet, some tips. Clear the room of furniture. Vacuum the carpet first. And always use warm water in the machine. That way you'll get a carpet that sparkles. As you see, they're really easy to use. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference between that's, before and after. We can almost feel as well that this is toast and that's more sponge. Oh, yeah, oh, my gosh. The texture's, like, Completely. night and day, yeah. yeah. But my cleaning rule number one is to have some fun. <laughs> no one can say that I don't know how to work the floor. You may know how to work the floor, Luke. But over in Birmingham, Hashu still needs to learn the basics. He had no idea how much his family actually do for him. It's about time he gets his hands dirty. Oh. So, it's you. I've noticed that the skirting boards are filthy. Yeah. They're covered in... Dusty, because that's looking a bit grim. I'm attacking them with plain old washing up liquid, one of my faves. It's super cheap, and the ingredients in it are designed to cling to grease and crud. And literally pull it off which is exactly what we need here. And look at that, it's just really effective. Wow, like, the colour of it's completely changing. Yeah. Do you want to give this a go on yep. the other side? 100%. It's actually looking so, yeah. so much better. What I have noticed is there is some paint. Yeah. So we've got some white spirit here. Mm -hmm. We're going to put a tiny little bit on the cloth. So white spirit is actually paint thinner. Make sure the window's open and you're in a well-ventilated room. No, I see it. Yeah. It's coming off. Yes, that's working really well. Hashu is actually applying himself. It's not just the skirting boards that have had a transformation. He's done the clearing, he's done the cleaning. Now it's time to get organised. Hashu. Yep. This is the solution to one of our biggest problems. We've got your wardrobe. No, oh my God, I love you guys, man. No more sniffing clothes, no more piles, no more bags. Hashu has positivity and determination, and that is essential for change. And this wardrobe is the final element of organization. Right, let's go, man, let's get to work. Yeah, me, we get the two, mate. We are you know so manly right now. Yeah, me. Absolute man stuff. All joking aside, which is saying something when it comes to Hashu, he is putting in the graft and he's come a long way. I've seen a massive change. How proactive you've been. I'm not a lazy guy. Once I know what I'm doing, I just get on with it. The so word lazy has never entered my head since we met you. It is I appreciate an issue. that, man. It's nice that Adam recognises the fact that, you know, a lot of this stuff isn't down to laziness, but it's actually neglect. Man. When's the last time you took this amount of time? I'll focus on you and what you want. I honestly can't remember. Whoop. You've gone a bit floppy, mate. <laughs> so the chat that we had with your sister, how do you feel about that right now? Man, like, she was telling me, like, it was a really good chat. We can both be honest with each other. That, for me, is one of the biggest takeaways. Oh, sorry, that's just twice I've done that. <laughs> he hasn't got a handle on building furniture quite yet, but he is starting to get a grip on his life. Right, mate, we've done a cracking job. It's coming together. Coming up, a change is gonna come for Hashu. Oh, my days! And Horda Caroline is in for a shock. <gasps> Caroline, this is yours. <gasps> oh, that's it. Push! <laughs> In Birmingham, we're on the home straight. To help with those sweaty man smells, I'm going to replace the wall vents to get some real airflow in here. And some finishing touches around the windows is going to help this room feel cosy and warm. And while the boys finish building the wardrobe, I'm adding the feminine touch to make his room more attractive to any potential girlfriends. 
And now it's time for the final reveal. Oh my days. Yeah? Oh my days. Hashu's bedroom was quite simply a dumping ground. His clothes were in bin bags, his bed was broken, and the whole place was covered in dust. Now it's a place any man would be proud to show off. After a lick of paint, a brand new bed, and loads of storage, this boy's bedroom is now a very cool man cave. I love the photo frame. Yeah? C candles. It's nice, isn't it? I honestly can't believe what I'm standing in. Do you want to check out your wardrobe? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. So this is going to be our hashu side. Oh, my God. My clothes have a home. Ironed. Me. Me. Yeah. Look at that. OK. And on the other side... Oh, my God. My costumes. It. No <laughs> black bean bags, OK? We can see everything. Yeah, I love that. Can you imagine the amount of time it's going to save you? Pick it off, get it done, back in, back in. <laughs> back in. Now, yeah. one million percent, right. one million percent. I'm proud of this space. It is all about respect, OK? Don't let yourself down. Don't let your family down. Don't let us down. No, I'm going to take care of it like... Well, I was going to say take care of it like my own, but it is my own, bro. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, it is like... all yours, mate. <laughs> yeah. We were called here to transform a 29-year-old man-child who let his family do everything for him into a responsible grown-up. And who knows, even potential husband material. With a modest budget and some new bedroom furniture, his room is now fit for a king. Who knows, maybe a future queen. Amma, mm -hmm. this is my room. So, what do the important women in his life think of it all? Wow. Wow, what a change! <laughs> you have a lamp! I know, I love that lamp. Uh, our pictures. Oh. Uh, I've got the one of you carrying me as a baby. Because oh. you're carrying me all the time, but you don't have to carry me anymore. <laughs> it's almost as if it was someone else's room. Has she never had a room like that? It's got cupboards, it's got a bed with actual linen on. <laughs> I can be responsible now, you know, I can bring a wife. She'll like this room. My son is now man. <laughs> <laughs> just seeing like my mom smile, man, like it just felt so good because I've got myself to cover. I'm so proud of you. I really am. I just want you to know everything's gonna be okay now. You know, I'm gonna take care of it and stay tidy. My little boy. <laughs> In Croydon, <laughs> with Daniel's help, Chanel and I have cleared out and cleaned up Caroline's house. I thought it would be a really good storage solution to just put all her medications somewhere where they're accessible. You guys can go through them on a regular basis and make sure that they are in there. Exactly. There's been some massive changes, which I think Caroline is going to love. But we don't do things by halves, baby. It's the last push now. We are cleaning, printing and steaming every last inch of this place. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Chanel, do you want a facial as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel called us here because he is worried about his mum. But his attempts in the past to help massively backfired. And I didn't want to upset you. So before Caroline could allow us to help her? It yeah. could potentially go. Potentially, but it's not going. She had to let go of the past. I'm so proud of how far Caroline's come. And she's finally embracing us being here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what a difference. Caroline was ashamed of her old living room. It was dark, dirty, and downright dangerous. Now it's a safe, clutter-free sanctuary. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Caroline, this is yours. Oh, what do you God. think? Oh, brilliant. Oh, I really posh. <laughs> <laughs> We've added just a few bits of furniture and storage for Caroline. And now she has a cool, clean and safe home to enjoy again. Oh, it's so bright. No more yellow walls. What do you think of the carpet? It's a huge oh, difference, yes. isn't it? it? Yes, it, it looks very vibrant. Yeah, we're really pleased with that. 
Now there's pictures everywhere, memories. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. Yes, I, I, I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm glad this you like it, This has been your house for 20 years, mm -hmm. and today is the first day that I would say it's became a home. Yes. I can see your face, you're glowing, you're, you're smiling. You're smiling, you're from ear <laughs> to blushing. ear. I've never seen you smile so much. <laughs> you are literally blushing. Oh, dear. So what would Caroline think of her new boudoir? Oh, my gosh. Caroline's bedroom was so dysfunctional when we arrived, she couldn't even sleep in her bed. Now it's a calm, clean space, somewhere that she can finally look forward to a good night's sleep. I don't even know what to say, but... Oh, it's lovely! Speechless. So, your bed, no more cobwebs. Oh, my gosh, you make me sound like a witch. <laughs> cobwebs. <laughs> It's a lot brighter in here now, and I really do find that once the room is bright, you have something that wakes you up and you already feel yeah. fresh for the day. It's a nice, calming place. You know, I can come here and nod off properly in the bed. The two rooms have had such a transformation. It's unbelievable. I feel blessed. It's brilliant. I needed you guys, and I'm really grateful. Like, this room is so much nicer. Am I happy with what's been achieved? No, I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed. It's a complete transformation. You have a beautiful soul, and we've loved working with you and being around you. Because I'm quite a strong-minded person, I thought, I'm being told what to do. I mean, I've lived here X amount of years, and I thought, hang about. Yeah, so I, I had to get my head around it. Now I don't even remember what I threw out. Is there that good? I don't even remember what I threw out. I'm blown away. Mm. Okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it again, baby! Caroline's house feels brighter and lighter, and Hashu is finally ready for the adult world. It just goes to show our homes aren't just for us, we share them with other people. Whether that's family or a potential spouse, the moral of the story is. Pick up your dirty drawers and make sure so you dish them clean so that your home can be welcoming. Have a good night.
Hi, Queen! Hola! Thank you so much for coming to our rescue. I think it's made a really positive impact. Yes, it has. It really has. You can see it's uh, just as tidy as when you left it. It's just brilliant. Everything's spicy. Anyway, please come back and visit soon. Bye-bye! Bye! I hope you guys are going to be proud of me because I've kept the umpness levels of this room to mm -mm -mm. It's nice and organized, no more sleep test. I got this entire experience has changed my life. I really feel like I've got my life together. Are oh, you Arthur? Do you want to give a message to Adam and Lola? I, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this. I'll just say it anyway. A certain somebody bought another certain somebody to be introduced to the family. Yo, after I, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> but yo, thank you so much. Lots of love. Yeah. Take care. Thank you.